we'll be taking up more examples but before that let us understand the features of annuity as mentioned before the most important feature of annuity as these examples are highlighted is that installments are paid and these installments are fixed it's not as if first year you deposit 10000 the second year you deposit 12000 the third year you deposit 13000 that is not called an annuity you need to deposit the same amount of money every period at the end of every period the end of every period could be at the end of one year or the end of one month but the amount that you're going to be paying that you're going to be paying or you're going to be depositing is going to be fixed the time interval between two payments are same that is it's constant suppose you're deciding to pay as in monthly installment so you're going to pay it as an emi so the period has been fixed at the end of every one one month at the end of every month hence you get the time interval and the payment is made over a fixed period of time as in the previous example we calculated for five years the entire period of time was five years and in these five years you were paying at the end of every one year that has to be fixed and if it's a regular annuity due we say first uh, annuity regular annuity we say first installment is at the end of first period that is suppose the loan has been sanctioned today and you're paying emis then your first installment will be paid not today but at the end of one month suppose you're paying on an annual basis your first installment will not be paid today that is when the loan has been sanctioned but you will pay it at the end of one year so that is annuity and the last installment as you said doesn't fetch any interest because you are paying it and on the day when you pay it your maturity has been attained so it does not fetch any interest for you and of course as we have seen we are not taking up simple interest and it is going to be a compound interest concept that is the concept of interest on interest is being taken into account and the basic symbol used is the amount is the future value as we said suppose you're depositing 10,000 like this what will be the value of it five years from now that is a future value suppose you're depositing 10,000 for five years the all those deposits what is the equivalent of that currently that is called the present value so these are the features of annuity of course the best way of uh, learning these concepts is not just the definition but how to apply it and that's what we are going to do further